Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, I want to warn you right now, there are huge spoilers for the show that is coming out soon. Um, and from the, what I can tell, they might just drop episode 1 and 2 back to back uh, from this special preview uh, of this like 44 minute long video. So, if that is the case, I highly recommend you not listen to this review because I'm going to go into kind of specific things, but not so much to spoil you. Like, I, I want to tell you stuff, but at the same time, I want people to be still go out and watch it themselves to understand what I'm talking about. Or talk about things that if you didn't watch it, you shouldn't understand, right? Because I'm just speaking in a way that is close to telling you, but not really. Um, but yeah, you have been warned in 54321. We are probably getting another one of these types of shows where we just don't uh, know all the details when it comes down to if the animation is going to stay true and loyal to this um you know amazing looking stuff right now if it stays this way and it continues to <laughs> blow my mind the way it you know some of the parts look there is a little bit of the shaky cam that i kind of seen really used heavily by um radiant more than anything so to see the shaky making its comeback is always a little bit of an unwelcome thing, but at the same time, as long as it's used kind of cleverly and seems like we're getting something a little bit interesting, I can I can live with it. But as a whole, seeing Ace and, or should I say Lich, um, in this world of numbers is one of the things that makes anime kind of fun and not only fun but you can see so many other inklings of other shows and i'm only saying that because they're there but at the same time i don't really care for it to bring me in for nostalgia purposes um but it kind of does right like sometimes when you actually think about a show that for whatever reason you would tell people about it or for whatever reason there's just parts of it that will always stick in your mind if you find things like that I think those are always worth telling or at least talking about in my opinion and then not only that to continue to tell it uh, over and over I was trying to do something, and this guy just straight up dipped, he's like, okay, I'm out, um, but to think that what we're going to see probably overall from these characters in the grand scheme of <coughs> Ace, and to think, look at, look at that Ace character, there's a part in episode two where they kind of just explain who, who Ace is and what he's done and stuff like that, I pretty much got lucky enough to make almost an identical looking character that we saw okay I can't with him he's trash um an almost identical looking character with him uh with the character customization we only get to see him from the back really quickly and we know that he wields a long sword with only one hand skillfully so to think all of these things were pretty much falling into place with this game I was playing was absolutely dope. Um, and the things that actually really caught my eye that seemed nostalgic, and some of it not so much welcomed as others, in the case of one, the main character girl, kind of remind me a lot of Elizabeth and the journey she took to find the seven deadly sins. Um, but for this woman, or this girl, it's, it's her journey really only comes down to her doing it because her mother told her to, and all she has to go off of is find the ace, that's all she has, so to think that's about it, and 
any way, shape, or form information that she gets throughout the two episodes that we get this week leads her to find him and pretty much uh, be rescued. So, not only do we get this, you know, uh, rescue and save the damsel in distress uh, moment that kind of, you know, also echoes back to what I was saying about Seven Deadly Sins. Um, I'm not saying it's a knockoff, but it's kind of crazy to think how much of, you know, different things kind of resemble that, uh, story just taking place in general. Like, oh, um, then he did this, then he saves the girl, then he continues to save the girl, you know, like, it was interesting to, or he continues to try to help the girl, you know, follow her, the dream that she wants to do, but that's where it changes, right? That's where things, you kind of have to, if you're going to take people's ideas, or if you're going to be inspired by stuff, you should at least try to uh, make your own spin off the stuff, instead of keeping it 110%, uh, you know, seeming like you're just ripping off the story, so, with the numbers being seemingly the most important thing, but actually not giving us that much understanding besides the fact of losing your life over them, like being sent to the abyss from what we understand you're at dying, you know, and, or at least from what everybody understands themselves, say you die, but once you hit zero is when that's supposed to happen, so some way, shape, or form, uh, because if you hold these things that are by law, you know, banned, you can, uh, surpass or go into the negatives and not worry about that life-threatening visit to the abyss. So, it kind of begs the question... If she, if the main girl is holding one, which, um, towards the very beginning episode where <clears throat> she thinks she found the main ace, legendary ace, the man who just, just happened to wreck house in this war, and not only wreck house, but do it uh, casually, and it was over 300 years ago, so not only does she have, you know, bits and pieces of the information, but it's starting to make less sense on how she can find someone that's 300 years old. Not only that, the story then gives me the vibes of, you know, um, Dash the Stampede with just how goofy and, you know, comedic he can come off, but at the same time, once that comedy, like, that comedy is over, it's all, you know, it's all hands on deck then, and that's what I, that's what you always gotta have in a character if you're gonna play the joke card, but being a very serious, uh, show, which, the one thing I do had a problem with, I mean, throughout the two episodes, which, let's be fair, her number's in a spot where she sh probably shouldn't be wearing a skirt with all these people the way that they try to be treating her and stuff, so, she, one, should probably start wearing pants, and two, maybe shorts, um, but as we see, numbers are everything to certain people, and for her, her number was nothing, like, all she did was have to walk, and hers went up, so it's nothing to her in that regard of, oh, what's my number, I need to make sure <clears throat> I get out there and walk some more and raise it up, but unlike her, you know, if you have a high number, you get better social standing, so, for instance, the girl that actually teaches her all this stuff has 77, so, regardless of everything she's doing, working at a uh, tavern or whatever, you know, she's working at a little hut, um, she will never have that much authority because of her number, but, if she just so happened to, you know, get into that fight that our main girl gets into this week, she could rise up the ranks and be able to command people, but the weird part of this is the negative numbers of 999, um, 
interesting enough is not even affect like it doesn't seem like he's hindered in any way shape or form like they didn't show a little sneak peek of him being out of breath or you know in pain because of what he's doing to you know fight or there's like some backlash of using his abilities or anything like that so there's that fact that kind of seemed interesting as a whole of why uh, that was, wasn't a thing, or if it is a thing, and he just hasn't shown any, uh, you know, backlash from what's happened recently, so, there's that, um, not only that, I really do recommend just checking out how they are styling this story, like, it definitely feels, n like, not just nostalgic, but kind of homey in a sense, like, like, you kind of feel like you should know what's going to happen, but by the end of this week's episode, what I predicted didn't end up happening. So, that's kind of already, if you know me and my reviews, that's right up my alley. Like, as soon as you kind of bait me in with the story, but then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, and then this happens. And then it doesn't happen, I'm like, hold up, okay, let's... Let's keep rolling the dice here. Let's see what we if we can win one of these guesses, you know. Um, so, with him having these negative numbers, he has a sword that has you know five thousand seven hundred on it, but that still doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't show that it kind of is taking away from him. Like he's holding the sword. So maybe that's why he's capable of being beat up and whatnot when he doesn't have the sword. Because the funniest, best part is episode one where he is just running around with the mask, uh, you know, ass begging for food because for some reason he's absolutely broke and no one's helping him out. Uh, he has to, like, you know, conceal his face because as soon as they figure him out and who he is it seems like there's even more trouble coming his way for something along those lines so I'm also interested in that regard of you know what is it that he had to hide his identity from you know why is that a why is that a thing and because he stuck his neck out for this girl he now is putting you know everything on the line aka his life but the main reason we know why she, he does not want to be around her is because of this reason. And that's another thing that I did not predict was her just go having to, you know, go this journey practically alone. And for good reason, actually. He left. Usually these characters have kind of dumb reasons and be like, I just needed to leave because I felt like it was the right thing to do to leave you in a town where... Some people could easily take you out just for being who you are for whatever reason and still take advantage of you like they were going to when they didn't know you had the the 10,000 egg on or rock on you. <laughs> um, so it's funny to me that that was his grand plan was kind of just to leave uh, after we see this battle that, oh my god, guys. When I tell you, I love me some overpowered characters. I really love me some overpowered characters. This man is so strong. His walking can beat you up and feel like punches are being thrown at you. Like His overall just stepping in the ground over time can make it so the ground quakes and breaks underneath you so you lose your ground and he gets the advantage and gets to rush you and destroy you because of it this guy is so strong that he's been alive for 300 years supposedly or he just had the mantle passed down to him but from what I can tell it would not be too far fetched to say this is the true ace seeing how uh, towards the end and what's the really selling point of the week's episode is we're going to get um, we're going to get to see 
who is at the end of a call that was made about Ace and him just being alive, or should I say Lich? But it's these types of things that have me interested. Uh, we definitely got a surprising two-piece episode here. I highly suggest you check it out. If Oh, man, I did not mean to do that. If you have not... Um, if you have not been watching everything and you're looking for something new, this is the show for you. Um, and I only say that because of what I've seen so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, a lot of things haven't been too straightforward. Let's just say the guy was acting way too pervy. And I hope if they do, and when they do, partner back up. They don't, you know, he doesn't have to go to those lengths of, you know, trying to pry open legs and stuff like that. It was was over the top, but here's the thing about it, though. Every single time this happened, they never showed underwear. They never showed anything like that. So, as they you know, do this as they give us the classic oh, look at this, you know classic trove that we're pulling off they didn't go too far in the case of show, you know needing to actually show all of it and be like, oh, this is what color and this, you know what I mean it, it's these things that, I mean and we can say that both characters clearly had a good eye fool right, there's no way the two characters that were that close to her to not see what it was but they didn't even go into the specifics of having the characters say what they saw you know so it's seeming to be a new kind of trend to just hold it in your pants kind of in the editing room you know or maybe there maybe there's just mangas out there that are changing that type of pasting as well so I, I don't know if it's the anime side or if it's the manga side but we're gonna find out sooner or later Once these shows are kind of coming close to their conclusion, so I don't get absolutely spoiled, and I get you guys those um, real reactions, not just, oh, I know it's coming up, so it should be exciting reactions. I can't stand those reactions. But overall, I hope you guys are having an amazing one. I will be talking to you later today because uh, your boy is really up at like 3 o'clock right now and this this thing just dropped Um, there is a dub and a sub I wound up watching the first episode of it dubbed and then I watched both episodes sub because I wanted to get uh, cut scenes and pictures like screenshots with the subtitle so they had context behind them and they weren't just pictures so plus the voice actors for sub were actually really good like always so I highly recommend just checking out whatever which one you like and I think you'll be satisfied with either one so regardless check out the show the numbers are seemingly capable of being taken off and if you read zero you get sent to the abyss Um, not only that there are people that fought in a huge war and supposedly because they fight and did what they did 300 years ago people can live the way that they live now Uh, I guess better than they were before Um, which also is something not really specified as how things were handled and why this battle even had took place in the first place or maybe it was and I shouldn't be watching anime around 2 o'clock in the morning so we'll see which one it is and my character's dancing on me so yeah (laughs) I will definitely be talking to you guys very soon here Let me know what you think about this. If you do wind up uh, checking out, actually, the... If you guys end up checking out this special, or maybe come back and I will talk to you after you have seen the special and actually, you know, want to not be spoiled. Because as of right now, It'll be a super spoiler if they drop it one episode at a time, which I feel like they won't. But if they did, just to be safe, know that this is episode one and two review. And with Ace going out the way that he does this week and not really having um, 
any real reason to stick around and our main girl being left it definitely felt a lot more of a dire situation in the case of not only did he abandon her once but he abandons her twice in one uh one episode pretty much and not only does he do that he then gives us you know no reason why and overall the show has to give us that reason the show and the world of the people who have been paying attention to this man and what he's been trying to do all along is what we really find out uh, about the background of him and what's going on and why he probably mainly left you know so check out this show you'll definitely not be disappointed um uh, animation was awesome let's hope this isn't just you know like them showing off for their one episode and then they kind of just drop the ball or something i would be super angry but i don't see that happening it seems like they want this funimation has a lot to do um you know in the case of just getting people back on their side for their dubs and I feel like this is another reason, another way of doing that by having their dub uh, voice actors actually be in this special preview and you know voice their opinions on the character they're playing as and give you some kind of you know halfway summary of what's going on and whatnot. So we'll see how this all pans out. Let me know, and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later. So with all that being said, Bruce. But did I spoil you, though? <laughs>